On this morning's Beat the Odds, turn back time, protecting your skin from the intense summer sun. The FDA suggested capping SPF at 50, but now one product is doubling that number. So how much is enough? Here is our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Hi, again. Okay, so explain all the numbers to me because we've got everything from SPF 30 to 100 here. Right. And what's the difference? And this is confusing. I remember when 15 was the highest. I'm sure most people do now. As you said, we go all the way up to 100, and there is a lot of confusion. The American Academy of Dermatology is very vague about this. They just say use something with an SPF higher than 15. What I think confuses people is that is 100 blocking 100% of the sun's rays? Obviously not. All it does is tell you how long you can be outside without burning. So 100 times longer than if you didn't have protection on. Okay, so what? how long will 100 keep me safe That's for? Right. for? For everyone, it's different. You know, basically it's between 10 and 15 minutes, but make no mistake about it, if you use something like a 50 or 100, it doesn't mean you can stay out all day. You will get burned, it's just how long. Wait, so it's still between 10 and 15 minutes that I can Without stay? protection. And then if you use something that says a 50, you can stay out 50 times that amount. Oh, so then I would take an SPF 100 and times that by 15 to 20 minutes. Or divide it. It's, a, it's the complicated math. But the bottom line is it doesn't block out 100% of the UV rays. And that's what a lot of people get confused about. The only thing that will block it out is what, like holding up Just something like inside. this? Staying inside. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right. It's called a, a building. <laughs> that's right. All right, what is, um, how often do I have to reapply it to so get the maximum That's benefit? really, really important. It really has to be reapplied about every two hours. And a lot of people just think that when they put so, especially a high number like this on, they're protected for the day. And that's obviously not true if you're swimming or exercising or just out for a long period of time. It does need to be reapplied. And if you're sweating it off? Absolutely, every two hours. What if it says it's waterproof and you go in the water? So when you come out, put more on. You can never do enough. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. All right, what's the right amount to use? Now, this I was actually shocked about. This is the amount. It's one shot glass, about one ounce, that we should put all over our whole body each time we go out. So that means one of these is about three ounces. This is only going to last three times out in the sun. And obviously, we can't put this on our back, so you do need to have someone apply it for you. It needs to go all over your body. There's a right. lot of sunscreen. These companies are loving you, Ram, because I've had the same one for like five no, summers. No, so have I. So you actually, you know, three ounces is going to last you three outings. All right, what else do we need to know about the The most important thing, really, is you want to put it on 20 minutes at least before going out outside. Reapply off and make sure you use the same amount. And don't forget the other things like hats, sun, sunglasses, shirts. Wait, 20 minutes before I go outside? Why? Because it really needs to seep in? Absolutely. And people say, you know, I'm out in the sun now. Yeah. How many times do you see it by yeah. the pool or on the beach? No, 20 minutes before. It needs to absorb into your skin. And if you don't do it 20 minutes before, is that mean, does that mean the first 20 minutes that's, you're not getting protection? That's correct. Which is the, time, the amount of time it takes you to burn. To burn. I didn't know any I know. of this. Look how much we are learning. Cheers. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much. You betcha. And for more information, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.